so the next stage is electrophoresis where we are going to separate the fragments based on size because remember it all depend it all came back to the size of the fragments which was dependent on the number of str repeats which was the key differentiating factor between individuals and species Okay, so separating fragments based on size. We okay? So what we do is we make a a gel of a kind of polysaccharide. All right, it's quite well. It starts off as a liquid, but then when, when it's hot, it's liquid, and then when it cools down, it forms this gel. All right, and the gel. Agarose, agarose gel, okay, so the gel is quite thick, okay, and that's how it is. If we zoomed in on the gel, we might see something like, you know, poly, you know polymer chains like this with small holes for things to so it's not completely waterproof yeah or, or sealed it this it, it is porous as we would say okay now what we do here is we load up the dna in these wells so we put our dna samples our mixture of dna fragments so if we looked at this, maybe we got fragments, some very small, some medium length, some very long fragments, okay? And we load up the fragments in the gel and remembering the key point that DNA is negatively charged. DNA is negatively charged. And what we're gonna do is place an electric field across this agarose gel such that we are going to have a positive charge at this end and a negative charge at that end. So the DNA molecules move towards the positive charge. Okay, um, let's just put the key points down here. So um, DNA loaded onto gel to electric field across the gel okay and three because DNA is charged DNA moves towards positive charge so it's just a little bit of it's relying it's leaning on your knowledge of the of first year and DNA structure so the DNA is loaded onto the gel electric field is placed across the gel the DNA moves towards the positive charge but, and this is the key point, what results in separation is that smaller molecules, smaller DNA molecules or shorter DNA molecules, I should say, smaller or shorter DNA molecules will encounter less resistance from the gel. Okay, so the gel will be less effective at slowing down the movement of the smaller particles whereas the longer DNA fragments will take longer to move through the gel and what this does is causing a separation based on size basically so smaller shorter fragments will encounter less resistance in the gel resulting in separation based on size of DNA fragment okay it's not uh, not really the amount of charge or anything like that it's 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 only on based on the length of the DNA so sh a short fragment moving through the DNA and remember we've got a million short molecules 
moving through the gel based on our PCR. So a million short molecules would move through the gel in a specific amount of time and they would end up down here. In that same amount of time, our medium length fragment would maybe be somewhere up here. Okay? And our longest fragment would be somewhere up here, hard, you know, getting a lot of resistance from the gel and hardly being able to move very far in the same amount of time. Okay? Key points to note, the width of the band is in no way related to the size of the fragment. Remember, we've got million medium-sized molecules all kind of, you know, competing for space here. And we've got a million long molecules here and we've got a million short molecules. So they're all kind of spread out. But what is, the, it's their position on the gel that is telling us what the size of the fragment is. Okay, not the width of the band, but the position of the band on the gel. And the idea would be like that if we had a mixture from a different person right next door, that the enzymes would have cut out a fragment. And if this person was very, you know, um, if this person had DNA that was very different from the uh, DNA of the person in this well, in, or in this lane, we should say, in that case, we might get fragments that are not lining up with each other. So, um, so this might be location one in the, in, the, in the chromosome, and in, that, in an equivalent position, this person has got a much shorter DNA fragment because it's moved slightly lower. Yeah? And at this position, they have a longer fragment. So it, at, a, at a different position, this person has got more STR repeats than this person. Yeah? And that is DNA profiling. And we, you know, based on how similar these bands are in terms of the position of the gel, we start to infer whether they are closely related or distantly related.